Good afternoon. This is Tom Ashbury with the Viper Report. It's Sunday, June 14th. About the middle of the afternoon as I'm getting ready to write my Monday reports. I've been doing research for most of the weekend. Just put out a new article on Forbes.com titled, Just a Dip or is the Rally Ending? Those of you who weren't watching the market intraday probably got a pretty severe shock when you looked at the averages end of the close. This is the uh, hourly chart of the uh, E-mini futures. I've been saying out these charts regularly in, in our reports, just getting the idea what uh, they've been quite good at signaling um, the resumption of the uptrends. But in this case, yeah, we tried to stabilize at this level here around 3100 and uh, early Thursday. But once that gave way, you know, it was looking like uh, 3029, then uh, 3,000. We got down to about 2970 before we bounced. So this did some technical damage, uh, no doubt about it. You can see on the upside we have some converging resistance. So that's what I'll be telling the subscribers about in Monday's report and uh, whether we can get back above this level and a st strong market rebound from here would be a good sign. Whereas if it's weak, then it suggests that uh, more selling is likely to emerge. We've been talking about the very strong weekly AD numbers we had the past three weeks, not this last week. You can see 416 advancing, 2642 declining. That was pretty bad. Up to down volume wasn't quite as negative, 14 up and 19 down. As we get into next week, I'll be watching the new highs and new lows. Subscribers received a report on the high-low analysis, so they should be well-versed into what to look for. It was a pretty rough week for the major averages. With the transports down 8% and IWM down just about as much, the Dow is down 5.6. Only gold and the NASDAQ 100 are positive year-to-date. There were lots of interesting stories last week, some about Robin Hood, this is pretty interesting. Fang, G, Fang DD Network Group, symbol DUO, uh, apparently on Tuesday morning, a lot of uh, novice traders thought this was a, related to the Fang stocks. So you can see this is a 30 minute chart. This stock went from $9.51, $9.51 on Monday, hit a high of $129.04 on Tuesday closed at 4706 few folks didn't get the message on early Wednesday as it had another high of 75 bucks closed at 1583 on Wednesday and I think settled around nine and a half bucks on Friday you got to know what you're buying as always I have my eye on quite a few of the sectors the action here in the technology sector the XLK is a little troublesome we hit the yearly F1 resistance then close lower and the OBV here is forming a negative divergence if the OBV drops back below this moving average that would suggest the tech is ready for a rest if you want specific actionable advice I hope you'll consider either the Viper ETF or the Viper hot socks report next issue will go out tomorrow morning uh, usually about an hour before the open and uh, if we get any kind of fireworks like we did last week, there'll be interim updates between Monday's and Thursday's report. If you're interested in learning more about technical analysis, you might consider my special offer I did for Wealth 365. We're still training clients. It's a 90-minute introduction to technical analysis that can be designed specifically for you. So go to the website if you're interested, and if you, you can contact our office if, of course, you have further questions. Well, you might have to buckle your seatbelts this week, so stay tuned, and I hope you follow me on Twitter as I update my analysis.